For autistic people, the world can sometimes seem a bit too full of information. And for some, that means something as normal and every day as going shopping can be a nightmare. We've got no idea what could happen. Uh, the, you get all types of people in shopping centres and sometimes you get people walking into you and I don't like people touching me. And this can lead some to elaborate coping mechanisms or avoiding the shops altogether. Can you hear the pelican crossing? I can hear the pelican crossing. This is Andy and this is his dad Kevin. Andy's autistic and for him and his family there's no trip to the shops without having also completed his rituals to help him cope. Are we going to the toy shop now then? Yeah. So we're we going this way? Yeah. Yeah? This way? We, we could never do an experience, a shopping experience where we're just wandering around the shops for like recreation. It's always for a purpose and it always involves a lot of lifts and a lot of going to churches. For every time we go in a shop he'll have to go up in a lift or he'll have to go to a church, or he'll have to go and get his favourite foods. Andy films everything on his camera, inspired by Dad Kevin, who's a vlogger. Every lift and every till, helping him to process the day. They each have a YouTube channel where every day, they both upload a video to their 80,000 subscribers. Are we getting out or are we going back down, Andy? We're going back down in a minute, are we? The main coping mechanisms we've got when we're out and about with Andy is, it's really just making sure that he's fully aware of everything that we're going to be doing. Right, Andy, we've got... I'm going watch it. Seven minutes until the shop opens. Eight minutes, seven minutes. Until the toy shop opens, and then we can go and put some Lego. Yeah? The shopping experience for autistic people is unique to each individual. Connor can sometimes find the experience overwhelming. You've got no idea what could happen. Uh, the, you get all types of people in shopping centres and sometimes you get people walking into you and I don't like people touching me. <laughs> in a busy shop, sound uh, has a big part in it because the music, depending on what type it is, can, can really affect me. So if it's club music, for instance, the, the beat of that really puts me on edge and makes me really, really anxious. All lights seem too bright, everything's a bit much. So having them that extra bit brighter makes it just really, really draining on my eyes. It feels as if uh, I'm at a rock concert. It's interesting when you get shop assistants come up to you because I don't, I don't particularly like the interaction there. You don't, you don't want small talk. I just like to uh, wait for the hay pigeons. You get all those perfume counters and all those different smells just add up. It's too overwhelming, too much to process. Um, and it, can, it really, it almost hurts my nose, uh, which then hurts everything else. In shopping centres, there's that many things going on that often there can be crashes or bangs and they, and they can just tip you over the edge because if I'm already on a high level of stress, that little bit can just be that much to just tip me over and, well, explode. Sometimes autistic people get overwhelmed by everything around them and they might temporarily lose control of their behaviour. The worst it ever got was a couple of years ago, not having the thing that he wanted in the shop was the, the last straw and he ended up going to full meltdown, took off all his clothes, dropped down onto the floor and he was just naked on the floor of the co-op, screaming because he didn't want to be there. Yeah. Now shops are starting to recognise that stores can be a hostile place for autistic people. This week, as part of a campaign with the National Autistic Society, they're pushing to make a change, experimenting with running something called an autism hour. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Can this improve Connor's shopping experience? Once a year, for an hour, we sort of try and do what we can to accommodate the needs of the customer. So the music will go off like it is now in the store. So normally we're quite a loud environment. Um, bit of a sort of disco feel so we turn, we turn that off or, or right down to make the people comfortable um, accommodate their needs in the service so if they need to be left alone for a little bit or if they need more interaction than we'd normally give then we do that. Over 10,000 shops and businesses across the country are running autism hour this week. People are just a lot more accepting of the fact that not everyone faces the same challenges. Things that other people find simple could be quite difficult for a lot of us. So it's good to see that people are more empathetic towards that because that's the way we need the world to be. Well, if they can do that once a year, why can't they do that once a week or once a, a day even? It didn't take them that much effort, but it would make a lot of difference to a lot of people.